Have you ever wondered about the mysteries hidden within the ancient ruins scattered around our world? These silent sentinels of history weathered by time hold secrets and stories and are a testimony of civilizations long gone. They stand as lingering remnants of the past, triggering the curiosity of historians and archaeologists alike. Call it fascination, curiosity, or awe, these ruins never fail to captivate us. They're not just mere structures or old pieces of architecture. They are the living, breathing testimonies of our past. From the colossal pyramids of Egypt to enigmatic Stonehenge in England, each ruin is a key, unlocking a past that stretches back thousands of years. The pyramids, for instance, are an enduring testament to the ancient Egyptians' astonishing architectural skill, while Stonehenge remains a prehistoric mystery that continues to baffle scientists to this day. They offer us rare glimpses into the lives of our ancestors, their beliefs, their struggles, their triumphs, and their stories etched in stone. These ruins also serve as a reminder of the cyclical nature of human history, of empires that rise and fall, of the eternal dance between creation and decay. They have witnessed the rise and fall of empires and death of cultures and the relentless cycle of human history. But why is it significant to explore and understand our past? It's not just about dates and facts or about knowing the timeline of history. It's about appreciating the rich tapestry of human experiences, the epic tales of survival, growth, evolution, victories, defeats, revolutions, and creations. It's about understanding we come from, who we are, and where we are heading. History isn't just a subject taught in schools or a collection of events. It's about learning from our ancestors, their mistakes and victories, their resilience and ingenuity. It's about our achievements as a species, recognizing our shared heritage and understanding our place in the grand scheme of things. Our past acts as a showing us the reflection of our capabilities and our potential for the future. In this video, we will embark on an extraordinary journey through time, guided by the ruins themselves. We'll start from where civilization first sprouted, the ancient pyramids of Egypt, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless passage of time. Next, we'll journey to the mystical stones of Stonehenge. From there, we tread the path trodden by millions along with the Great Wall of China. We'll then marvel at the grandeur of the Parthenon, the iconic former temple on the Athenian Acropolis. Our journey continues to the haunting beauty of the ruins of Palmyra, a once thriving metropolis, now reminder of the impermanence of human achievements. Each stop in our journey signifies a different era, each ruin a relic of a different civilization. We'll delve into the stories these ruins tell, the cultures they represent, and the people who built them. We'll explore their architectural marvels, ponder over the significance of their locations, and attempt to unravel the mysteries that still them. So, are you ready to step into the past? to walk in the footsteps of our ancestors, to hear the echoes of history whispered through the ruins. The past is a treasure trove of stories, lessons, and wisdom. It's up to us to unearth them, understand them, and learn from them. These ruins beckon us to look beyond the stones and the dust, the decay and the desolation, to see the human stories etched in every crack and crevice, the tales of ingenuity, resilience, and ambition. So come along, and join us on this journey through time as we explore and celebrate the 25 most amazing ruins on Earth. Our journey begins with the iconic pyramids of Egypt, dating back to 2600 BC. These remarkable edifices rising majestically from the desert landscape have long captivated the imaginations of explorers, historians, and casual observers alike. The impressive pyramids, symbols of mystery, power, and celestial knowledge are the handiwork of an ancient civilization that time forgot but history remembers, the ancient Egyptians. The ancient Egyptians were known for their unique cultural practices, innovative architectural designs, and advanced understanding of science. Their civilization, steeped in rich history and complex mythology, has been the subject of endless fascination. The pyramids, the most prominent relics of this ancient civilization, are meticulously crafted structures, each one a masterpiece of engineering and architectural prowess. Constructed out of countless blocks of stone, the pyramids stand tall, their towering heights a silent reminder of the grandeur and sophistication of the civilization that crafted them. More than just giant tombs or monuments, these colossal structures were built with purpose, precision, and a deep understanding of the cosmos. 
Their precise alignment celestial bodies showcases the Egyptians' advanced knowledge of astronomy, a testament to a civilization far ahead of its time. The pyramids were not just tombs for the pharaohs, they served as a grand statement of their divine connection, a symbol of authority and power. They embodied the grandeur of the pharaohs, the might of their kingdoms, and their perceived divine status. Each pyramid, with its intricate design and imposing stature, served as a sacred space, a nexus connecting the earthly realm with the divine. The ancient Egyptians' understanding of mathematics and engineering was evident in the construction of these monuments. The precision required to align the pyramids to celestial bodies, the complex mathematics involved in calculating the dimensions each block, and the colossal task of assembling these giant structures all point to a civilization with a profound understanding of science and technology. Throughout history, these pyramids have been the subjects of countless theories and explorations. Scholars and explorers alike have delved into their depths, traversed their corridors, and marveled at their grandeur, hoping to unlock the secrets they hold. Each stone, each glyph, each pathway within these structures seems to whisper tales of a civilization long gone, yet in many ways still alive within these walls. The civilization that constructed these architectural marvels was one of the earliest and most influential in human history. The Egyptians harnessed their knowledge of mathematics, engineering, and astronomy, leaving behind a legacy of ingenuity and innovation. They gifted the world with a wealth of knowledge, their contributions to science, culture, and art shaping the course of human history. These monumental tombs stand as a testament to the ingenuity of ancient Egyptian civilization. They bear witness to a time when humans, despite the limitations of their era, were able to conceive and construct breathtaking structures, ones that continue to stand the test of time. The pyramids of Egypt, despite the centuries that have passed, still hold an air of mystery. They beckon us, drawing us closer with their enigmatic allure, captivating our interest and sparking our curiosity. A silent ode to the past, they continue to captivate us, reminding us of the profound mysteries that our world holds. Fast forward to 3000 BC, we land in the plains of Wiltshire, England, where the enigmatic Stonehenge resides, a breathtaking colossal stone circle intricately constructed by our Neolithic ancestors has been a focal point of fascination, speculation, and countless studies for centuries on end. Its enormous size and meticulous arrangement are enough to leave in awe, let alone the fact that it was erected thousands of years ago. Thousands. Stonehenge, as we know it, is an enigma, a question that continues to baffle archaeologists and historians alike, a puzzle without a clear solution. And as with any intriguing mystery, theories about Stonehenge's purpose are as numerous as they are diverse, each coming with its own set of compelling arguments and counterarguments. Some theorists and scholars are of the opinion that Stonehenge was a celestial observatory. They argue that the meticulous positioning and alignment of the stones suggest a link with the movements of the sun, moon, and stars, a sort of ancient astronomical calculator, if you will. In their view, our prehistoric ancestors used Stonehenge to monitor the heavens, predict celestial events, and develop their understanding of the universe. Others, however, propose a different theory. They believe Stonehenge was a sacred site, a place of profound spiritual significance. According to this theory, our Neolithic ancestors used Stonehenge for burial rituals and spiritual ceremonies. The stones, they argue, were not merely arranged for purposes but served as a monumental altar, a place to honor the dead and communicate with the divine. There are also those who put forth the idea that Stonehenge served as a healing sanctuary a place of pilgrimage for those seeking remedies for their ailments. According to them, this theory supported by the discovery of human remains in the vicinity, some of which exhibit signs of disease and injury. The idea of Stonehenge as a prehistoric healing center is indeed romantic, and while it may be less widely accepted than the astronomical or ritual theories, it continues to captivate the imagination of many. The civilization that created this monument is equally intriguing, and perhaps even more perplexing. The builders of Stonehenge, it seems, were far more sophisticated than we often give them credit for. They managed to transport these massive stones over great distances, demonstrating remarkable ingenuity and unfathomable perseverance. They were not mere Stone Age brutes, but engineers, architects, and planners of the highest order. 
Despite extensive research, numerous excavations, and countless theories, Stonehenge's true purpose remains shrouded in mystery, much like the civilization that built it. The more we about it, the more questions seem to arise. Was it a temple, an observatory, a hospital, or perhaps something else entirely? And who were the people that built it? How did they accomplish such an impressive feat? What drove them to do it? These questions may never be fully answered, but that won't stop us from trying to uncover the secrets of Stonehenge, and perhaps in doing so, learn more about remains one of the world's most intriguing prehistoric mysteries. And as such, it continues to captivate our collective imagination, inviting us to step back in time and marvel at the ingenuity and spirit of our ancient ancestors. Transporting to the 7th century BC, we arrive at the formidable Great Wall of China, this architectural wonder, a man-made behemoth that snakes through mountains and valleys, has been silently standing as a sentinel of the Chinese civilization for over two millennia. Stretching approximately 13,000 miles from east to west, it is more than just a wall. It is a symbol of China's rich history, a tangible link to the ancients who once walked along its ramparts. The Great Wall as we know it today is the result of a series of fortifications dating back to the 7th century BC. The first sections constructed by the early states of Qin, Zhao, and Yan to keep out the invading nomadic tribes from the north, the Mongols and the Xiongnu. The wall was not built as one continuous structure, nor was it constructed by a single dynasty. Instead, it was built in sections of varying quality and materials by different dynastic rulers over centuries. The process of its construction was as formidable as the structure itself. The construction techniques involved were extraordinary for their time. Imagine countless workers, local peasants, criminals, and even soldiers laboring day in and day out in extreme conditions. They utilized local materials, tamped earth, reeds, and wood to create the initial sections of the wall. The wall was not a towering structure at the start. Instead, it was a humble barricade with watchtowers sprinkled along its length. As centuries passed, the wall evolved and expanded under the rule of successive dynasties. The Han Dynasty, the Tang Dynasty, the Jin Dynasty, each left their architectural imprint on the wall. But it was during the Ming Dynasty in the 14th century that the wall went through its most significant transformation. The Ming Dynasty, recognizing the strategic importance of the wall, undertook a massive expansion reinforcement project. They replaced the earlier sections of the wall made with tamped earth and wood with more durable materials like bricks and stones fortified with lime and sticky rice. The wall we today is primarily the result of their efforts. Towers and watchtowers equipped with garrisons, beacon towers for communication and even living quarters added, transforming the wall into a military stronghold. Despite its military purposes, the wall's cultural and symbolic significance cannot be understated. The Great Wall of China is not just an architectural masterpiece or a military fortification. It is the embodiment of the resilience and perseverance of the Chinese people. This colossal structure, which can be seen from space, is a testament to the tenacity and strength of human spirit, the ambition of emperors, and blood and sweat of the countless workers who built it. It stands as a symbol of unity, a line that physically and metaphorically connects the Chinese nation's present and future. The Great Wall, a symbol of perseverance and strength, is a captivating piece of human history. Moving forward to 447 BC, we find ourselves in Greece, admiring the majestic Parthenon. A marvel of Doric architecture, the Parthenon holds a special place in history as a symbol of architectural perfection and artistic grandeur. This magnificent structure is a testament to the genius of the ancient Greeks, who poured their heart, soul, and intellect into building this masterpiece. The Parthenon was built during a time known as the Golden Age of Athens when the city was at its peak of power and influence. The city was flourishing, and the Parthenon was a symbol of its prosperity. Its beauty and grandeur reflect the glory of Athens during period. The people of Athens under the rule of Pericles paid great attention to art, philosophy, and knowledge. These ideals were embodied in the architecture of the Parthenon. The design of the Parthenon is a symphony of balance and harmony. Featuring eight columns on the short sides and 17 on the long, the building is a masterpiece of Doric architecture, a style characterized by simplicity, elegance, and proportionality. The columns, beautifully proportioned and elegantly crafted, add to the overall magnificence of the structure. 
The Parthenon was not just an architectural marvel, it was a place of worship dedicated to the goddess Athena. Athena, the goddess of wisdom and warfare, was the patron goddess of Athens. The Parthenon was a tribute to her, reflecting the city's devotion and reverence for the goddess. The friezes and adorning the Parthenon are some of the finest examples of Greek art. They narrate tales of gods, heroes, and citizens alike, providing a glimpse into the beliefs and values of the ancient Greeks. The sculptures on the Parthenon tell stories from Greek mythology, from the birth of Athena to the Trojan War, inviting viewers to delve into a world of gods' heroes. Beyond its historical and artistic significance, the Parthenon also carried great symbolic value. It embodied the ideals of democracy, wisdom, and beauty that the ancient Greeks held dear. The Parthenon was more than just a building, it was an embodiment of the values and aspirations of an entire civilization. Over the centuries, the Parthenon has inspired countless architects and artists. Its timeless and aesthetic appeal have left a lasting impact on architecture and art across the world. From the Renaissance to modern times, the influence of the Parthenon can be seen numerous buildings and artworks. It stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of the ancient Greeks. The Parthenon is not just a relic of the past. Its legacy continues to resonate through the ages, echoing the achievements of a civilization dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge, beauty, and excellence. It serves as a reminder of the grandeur of the ancient Greeks, their love for beauty, their thirst for knowledge, and their unwavering pursuit of excellence. Despite the ravages of time and the numerous invasions it has withstood, the Parthenon stands tall, a beacon of ancient Greek civilization. It signifies the indomitable spirit of the ancient Greeks, their commitment to excellence, and their passion for knowledge and beauty. The Parthenon continues to inspire, enlighten, and fascinate, serving as a shrine of human creativity and a symbol of our shared cultural heritage. The Parthenon serves as a shining beacon of ancient Greek civilization. Our journey concludes in the desert of Syria at the remnants of Palmyra, a city seeped in history that unravels its tale dating back to the first century AD. Palmyra, a forgotten city where the ruins whisper stories of a time that once was, a time when this city was a bustling metropolis, a hub of activity, commerce, and culture. Nestled on the pivotal juncture of key trade routes, Palmyra was more than just a city. It was a beacon of hope and advancement in a desert landscape. Palmyra was not just a city, but a testament to the pinnacle of human achievement. Its grand, colonnaded streets adorned with intricate designs and the magnificent Temple of Bell stood tall and proud, bespeaking the city's historical significance. This elegant architecture was an embodiment of the city's rich heritage, a testament to its architectural prowess and grandeur. Today, although in ruins, these streets and temples evoke a sense of awe and admiration for the ancient civilization that created them. Known as the Bride of the Desert, Palmyra was a testament to the enlightened civilization that constructed it. A civilization that was progressive and valued art, culture, and commerce in an era that was still finding its footing. They were a group of visionaries who sculpted a city out of the desert and turned it into a thriving metropolis that was a medley of various cultures and traditions. The society that thrived in Palmyra was a fascinating amalgamation of Greco-Roman and Persian influences with of local Semitic traditions. The city's vibrant cultural fabric, its open-mindedness, and its acceptance of various ideologies made it a melting pot of ideas and aesthetics. This was a society that cherished the essence of cultural exchange and mutual respect, a society that celebrated diversity and thrived on the power of unity and diversity. These mixed influences led to an intriguing blend of architectural styles in Palmyra. Every structure, every monument, every street bore the imprint of these diverse cultural influences, resulting in an aesthetic blend that was both unique and breathtaking. The city was a true testament to the power of cultural exchange a physical embodiment of the harmony that can be achieved when different cultures come together, learn from each other, and create something beautiful and enduring. Even today, despite the city's damaged state, Palmyra emanates a sense of profound resilience. Its ruins, though silent, whisper tales of its past glory, echoing the ebbs and flows of human history. Every stone, every sculpture, every artifact tells a tale of a time when the city was a thriving metropolis, a beacon of cultural fusion and architectural splendor. 
The ruins of Palmyra provide us with a glimpse into the past, a window into a civilization that was advanced beyond its time. It reminds us of the power of human ingenuity, the ability to create and innovate even in the harshest of conditions, and the resilience to keep standing even after being ravaged by time and turmoil. Looking at Palmyra's ruins, we are reminded of the city's glory and its prime, its significance in the annals of history, and its contribution to the world of art, architecture, and culture. The ruins tell the tale of a city that once buzzed with activity, of a society that was rich in culture, and a civilization that was far advanced for its time. Walking through the ruins, one can almost hear the echoes of the bustling markets, the chants from the temples, the laughter of children playing in the streets, and the hushed whispers of scholars deep in discussion. These echoes serve as a poignant reminder of what the city once was and what it could have been. Palmyra, although damaged, still stands as a poignant reminder of the grandeur of ancient civilizations. It tells us a story of a time when the world was much different than it is today, a time of cultural fusion, of architectural splendor, and of the power of human resilience. Despite its current state, Palmyra continues to inspire, reminding us of the great heights that humanity can reach when we value art, culture, exchange, and mutual respect. Our journey concludes here, but the tale of Palmyra lives on, echoing the ebbs and flows of human history. Palmyra, although damaged, still stands as a poignant reminder of the grandeur of ancient civilizations. These ruins scattered across our planet are more than just remnants of stone and dust. They exist as silent witnesses to the passage of time, as stone representations of the cultures and civilizations that once were. They are fragments of an era long gone, echoes from the past, frozen moments in time, each with a unique tale to tell, and each tale a testament to the resilience, innovation, and artistic flair of humanity. These ancient ruins speak volumes about our collective past, our shared history, and the indomitable spirit of mankind. Beginning from the grandeur of the pyramids of Egypt, these pyramids were not just tombs for pharaohs. They were a testament to human ambition and the sophistication of ancient engineering. The construction process itself continues to baffle modern scientists and archaeologists alike. Designed with a precision that is remarkable for the era, the pyramids stood as a testament to the Egyptians' advanced understanding of mathematics and architecture. They were and still are a grand statement of artistic grandeur and technological prowess, a testament to a civilization that thrived thousands of years ago. Moving to the mystical allure of Stonehenge, its origins and purpose continue to be shrouded in mystery. What we know for sure, however, is that Stonehenge is an extraordinary feat of human endeavor. The enormous, iconic stones were brought from far away, a task that required immense strength, engineering, and coordination. The alignments of the stones with celestial phenomena suggest that our ancestors had a sophisticated understanding of the skies, perhaps for farming, religious, or calendar-making purposes. Over to the east, we have the majestic sprawl of the Great Wall of China, an architectural marvel of monumental proportions, it stretches over thousands of miles, snaking its way across mountains, deserts, and grasslands. Constructed over centuries, the Great Wall stands as an enduring symbol of China's imperial might, a physical manifestation of a nation's unity and fortitude. The classical beauty of the Parthenon is another testament to the human spirit. Even in ruin, it embodies the ideals of democracy and rational thought that were in ancient Greece. The Parthenon, with its perfect proportions and intricate sculptures, represents a high point in human artistic achievement. It reminds us of a civilization that valued beauty, balance, and harmony. The poignant solitude of the ruins of Palmyra, despite bearing the scars of recent conflicts, stand defiantly. These ruins are a stark reminder of the resilience of the human spirit, a symbol of the impermanence of empires and the enduring strength of culture. But these awe-inspiring sites are under threat from environmental changes, human negligence, and conflicts. They are being eroded by the sands of time, worn down by the elements, and in some cases destroyed by human action. They are slowly fading away, their stories becoming fainter and fainter with each passing day. Which is why they need our collective effort for preservation, not just as relics of the but as living classrooms for future generations. They remind us of our shared history, of our triumphs and failures, and of the enduring power of human creativity and innovation. 
They serve as a tangible link to our past, providing us invaluable insights into how our ancestors lived, thought, and dreamed. Each ruin tells a story, a tale of human endeavor, ingenuity, and resilience. They are the silent narrators of our collective past, encapsulating thousands of years of human history within their weathered stones. Each stone, each ruin, holds a piece of our shared heritage, a fragment of our collective memory. Preserving these ruins is not just about preserving the past, it's about acknowledging the contributions of our ancestors, recognizing the strength of the human human spirit, and valuing the lessons we can learn from history. It's about understanding our collective journey as a civilization and using that understanding to shape our and our future. These edifices serve as teachers, imparting lessons of resilience, creativity, and adaptation. They remind us that civilizations rise and fall, but human ingenuity and the will to create and innovate persists. They remind us that despite the challenges and adversities, the human spirit remains undeterred. As we embrace our future, let's not forget the lessons these stones whisper to us. They are the footprints of our journey as a civilization, a journey that continues to unfold. In the next part of our journey, we invite you to sit back, relax, and let the power of visuals take over. Envelop yourself in the comfort of your seat as the room dims down, with the screen glowing brighter in the hush. Feel your heartbeat quicken in anticipation as the immersive surround sound creates an ambiance, replicating the soothing natural sounds of our environment. Today we are setting off on a unique visual excursion that will last more than an hour, offering you a distinctive insight into some of the world's most awe-inspiring archaeological sites. Our highly skilled team of cinematographers has traversed the globe, capturing the unadulterated splendor and architectural wonders carved into the landscapes of numerous of numerous countries. The rich tapestry of our planet's history is perpetuated within these archaeological sites, each narrating a story of civilizational evolution, great human victories and disappointments, and the inexorable march of time that has seen empires rise and fall. The initial site we will explore is the resplendent pyramids of Egypt. Bathed in the golden radiance of the Egyptian sun, their sharp summits puncture the pristine blue sky, standing as an enduring testament to the engineering genius of the ancient Egyptians. The camera will then seamlessly transition to the enigmatic, commanding silhouette of Stonehenge, the ancient circle of stones that has withstood the test of time, bravely facing stormy skies and bathed in the soft silver luminescence of the moon. Subsequently, we will transport you to the distant lands of China. Marvel the Great Wall, its robust stones extending as far as the eye can see, forming a formidable barrier that reveals the resilience and fortitude of the ancient Chinese civilization. It is a testament to their ability to conceptualize, plan, and execute building projects of such magnitude and complexity. From China, our journey takes us to the Mediterranean, where the weathered, crumbling pillars of the Parthenon stand strong against the backdrop of a brilliant blue sky. This symbol of ancient Greece's artistic and architectural prowess prowess still radiates its grandeur despite the passing of millennia. In the heart of the Syrian desert, the poignant solitude of Palmyra's ruins awaits us. Once a bustling metropolis, it is now a silent testament to ravages of time and the unyielding spirit of humanity in the face of adversity. These ruins are like a melancholic poem etched in stone and sand, reciting tales of its glorious past and its sorrowful present. Each scene we present to you is a tribute to our ancestors' ingenuity, their relentless pursuit of knowledge, their resilience in the face of daunting challenges, serve as silent narrators of the tales that have shaped our world. These ruins silently echo the voices of their builders, the dreams of kings, the labor of slaves, the victories of warriors, the wisdom of sages. As the visuals unfold on the screen, you may find yourself engulfed by a myriad of emotions, awe, admiration, sadness, curiosity, and perhaps even a certain degree of introspection. Each ruin, each stone, each grain of sand holds a story about human civilization, its victories, its failures, and the lessons it has imprinted on the sands. Archaeological sites serve not only as historical landmarks, but as living, breathing classrooms, offering invaluable lessons about the resilience of the human spirit, the relentless pursuit of knowledge, and the indomitable will to survive and thrive against 
They are not merely remnants of a bygone era, but are tangible reminders of our collective history and heritage. The importance of preservation echoes through these ruins. They underscore the need to protect and conserve our historical sites for, for future generations. Every weathered stone, every crumbling pillar, every faded carving whispers ancient tales of human creativity, resilience, and survival. They serve as reminders of our past and beacons of hope for our future. As we embark on this visual journey together, remember these sites need our collective effort for preservation. They are not just relics of the past, but living classrooms for the future. Every ruin, every stone, every grain of dust holds the power to teach critical lessons about our shared history, about human victories and failures, and about the enduring power of human creativity. So let's embark on this visual journey together and let the ruins narrate their timeless tales.